Today, we're in the herd with men's basketball. After completing its first scrimmage this past weekend, the Bison were pleased to add an additional exhibition game this Saturday at Towson. Coach Nathan Davis says, unlike the team's already scheduled closed scrimmages, this one will be in front of a live audience. I think that it gives you a chance to really do a game like situation from uh, from e pregame meals to travel to the way you warm up, the preparation, all that stuff is great. Plus, you get to play in front of people in the uniforms. Also, I think we, we've got an experienced team, and so the opportunity to add a, we already had two scrimmages scheduled, but the opportunity to add that, that third as an exhibition to give us something to do each week, kind of prepare for and keep focused on. And plus, it gives us a great look at some things we need to work on. Davis says this exhibition was approved by the NCAA as a means to raise funds to help those affected by this summer's hurricanes. He also says a Division I student athlete receives a lot of privileges, so this helps ground his players. You have a, a lot of things going well for you day to day and to be able to, to give back and show some humility and, and, and try to do a little bit to help those less fortunate than you is something you certainly need to take advantage of. When asked what his team needs to work on during its final two scrimmages, he quickly says everything. We aren't where we want to be uh, in anything yet, but we're getting there. Um, we are unselfish. we got to clean up some things offensively. we got to be much crisper defensively, and I think a big key is we got to rebound the ball better. Senior co-captain Nana Falland echoes his coach's comments about how much work the team still needs. Uh, defensively and offensively, but uh, I mean, we all work hard, and that's all, that's all we can ask of uh, everybody, you know, just to work hard and try and get better every day. But still got ways to go yet, but it's, it's improving every day, so that's good. Nana was tabbed as the Patriot League's preseason player of the year, but he says he has a lot to improve to win the postseason award. For sure, my rebounding, offensive rebounding, uh, and just ways I can help the team. It can be more of a threat, uh, even further away from the basket maybe. So it depends. It depends on what the team needs and, you know, different games call for different things. So, you know, I just try to get better at everything every day. Just as he was picked as the preseason Patriot League Player of the Year, the Patriot League Coaches Poll also has the Bison picked first. Fallon says, though, he doesn't let that distraction affect his preparations. I mean, I do a good job keeping stuff out, but I don't know about the rest of the team, but... Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, we, we, had, we had upsets last year, you know, we had games where, you know, it was close and we almost didn't get it, but, so we know how hard it is, so we're not really going to take anything for granted. We're just going to keep working, so I, I, I don't listen to that stuff, so I don't know, I don't know about the rest of the team. The exhibition game between Bucknell and Towson begins at 1 p.m. on Saturday in Towson, Maryland.